Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're looking to make some serious cash in GTA Online, then you're in luck because today on the show, we have some massive money making tips. The Auto Shop and Tuners DLC have just dropped some amazing money bonuses. And in this video, we'll be showing you the best ways to make money fast and solo with these new money making opportunities as of this week. You definitely don't wanna miss out because we're gonna be talking about how you can make up to $900,000 in only a quick 20 minutes. So sit back, enjoy, and let's go. Recapping all of our bonuses for this week, we have triple money and RP on the seven new community series jobs and double money and RP on the vehicle Vendetta Street Adversary Mode. And so if you don't have the auto shop in game and you're looking to unlock that this week to take advantage of the auto shop bonuses, definitely grind those new game modes and jobs so that you can enjoy those money bonuses. They pay out pretty well and they're worth your time if you don't have any businesses. But starting off, we have triple money and RP on the robbery contracts, the auto shop client jobs and double money in RP on exotic export mission. So starting off with the auto shop contracts. These are basically jobs in GTA that consist of two preps and then a main finale. They're similar to heists and they include those free mode preparation missions and then you finish out the finale with a major payout. And the contracts here will be your best way of making money this week while Kyle Perico is on cooldown and then you can do the two other activities that we'll be discussing next. But for now, here's all the contract payouts with triple money. As you can see on screen, they pay pay out a great amount. And the contract that we're going to be focusing on specifically for the sake of this video is the Union Depository contract. As you can see, Union Depository is the best for both gross and net payouts, but all the other ones are still really good at around $500,000 per contract completion. And that's still really good after you complete the Union Depository to do because then you'll have a one hour cooldown on that specific contract until you can complete it again. So you have the rest of the contracts to grind in the meantime. Now, I do have a live gameplay episode and a guide on the Union Depository contract itself on my channel back from when we had triple payouts in March. So I'll link that in my description box down below, but I'm gonna have a new updated method on completing this contract even faster and easier that I'm gonna upload this weekend. So definitely stay tuned for that. But overall, this is a really fun and also a simple contract with setup number one basically requiring you just to steal a vehicle from an apartment for you to use as your access vehicle to the bank itself in the finale mission. The second setup involves you tailing the bank manager of this bank to extort him and then gain access to his key card for the bank vault. And then the finale is the Union Depository bank robbery itself. All in all, after your first or second time playing, you can speed run this contract in as little as 20 minutes for an easy $900,000 payout, which after Sasanta and KDJ's cut is gonna come out to $810,000 in pure profit. But what happens if you don't see the contract you wanna play on screen? Well, here's a very simple and quick trick to get the contract you want. All you need to do is go into your auto shop, head up to the contract board, select any contract off the board, it doesn't matter. You're gonna exit your auto shop, then you're gonna call Sasanta on your cell phone, cancel your current contract, then go back inside of your auto shop and the list of the three contracts on that board should be refreshed. And if you still don't see the union depository, just rinse and repeat that until you get that contract or honestly, whichever contract you would like to play. Now, before we jump into the next money-making method for fast and easy solo money this week in GTA, if you are enjoying this video so far, or if you're finding it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. But for number two, we have client jobs and the auto shop client deliveries. These jobs involve customizing vehicles in the auto shop to meet client specifications, and then you deliver those vehicles to them. This service allows players to earn money and reputation points by providing these high quality customizations and deliveries to those clients. And there's three tiers of vehicles that will be coming into your shop. We have low, mid, and high tier vehicles. The delivery missions range from less than a mile to over three miles at their maximum. And occasionally those just happen and you just have to deal with them. But the higher the tier vehicle, the higher the payout. And the profit structure is a little bit deceiving here because there's so many service and modification fees associated with these vehicles. But for low tier vehicle deliveries, you'll be making $20,000 profit. For mid tier, you'll be making 40,000 profit. And for high tier deliveries, you'll make 60,000 profit. It's some really good money here, whether you do these deliveries deliveries yourself, or if you want, you can have the staff do them for you. I used to do them myself, but now I actually just have the staff do them most of the time. A lot of players you may hear will say to do the deliveries yourself, but honestly, if you just have the staff do the deliveries, at most, you may lose up to $5,000 because they damaged the car on the way for the delivery, but that saves you up to five or so minutes per delivery of these vehicles where you could be doing another contract for that $500,000 payout or another $900,000. Remember, when it comes to money making in GTA Online, time is money. So trust the automation options presented to you, 
don't spend dollars just to save cents. But moving on to number three, we have exotic exports. These are simple, high value vehicle deliveries that are randomly spawning around the map. These take on average two to four minutes to complete and you get $60,000 per vehicle here with the double money. Anytime you see a blue dot marked on your map that says exotic export when you hover your cursor over it, make sure to deliver that vehicle to the docks for an easy double money and LS car meet double reputation point payout. And if you wanna farm these, they spawn at random locations like I said, but you can use the GTA web map to identify all possible spawn locations. So if you're interested and you're heading in a certain direction, you can pass by a few spawns using that map and see if they're there. I'll have that link below in the description as well. But now I want to talk about the other three money-making methods for this week. We have our time trial, which is Mount Gordo with a par time of 46 and a half seconds. Our RC Bandito time trial is Davis Quartz with a par time of 1 minute and 32 seconds. And then we have our HSW time trial, which is Ron Alternates with a par time of 2 minutes and 38 seconds. For the standard time trial, I do recommend you use a fast bike like the Nagasaki Shinobi, the Batsy 801, or the Shitaro for climbing these mountains. You definitely need an agile street bike for this time trial. A dirt bike could sound enticing here, but trust me, they don't pick up enough speed to complete this one in enough time. So up next, I'll have an in-depth gameplay showcasing the route that I take to complete this time trial in as little time as possible so you can basically follow along and complete this time trial for yourself. But with all that said, we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.